What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to go over how to get into Matic, how to start using Matic. I think this is something that we shouldn't ignore. I know the majority of my channel talks about BSC. Uh, my favorite platform for yield farming right now is BSC because it has the cheapest fees out of Ethereum mainnet, uh, Matic network, and others, right? So, well, those are pretty much the three networks where you're going to be yield farming, okay? And when it comes to yield farming, everyone is always concerned about the fees. Well, how does how much does Matic cost, etc.? Right now, I'll tell you, Binance Smart Chain is still the leader and the winner because the Binance Smart Chain fees are ridiculously cheap, all right? So, t in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your MetaMask using the Matic network. I'm going to show you how to get Matic, how to move it over from Ethereum to Matic. And that is it for the video. So I'm just going to show you that, the basic steps, and hopefully I don't ramble on too much like my other videos. But let's get into the video. All right, before we get into the video, please do me a favor. Please follow me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, because I am doing some prize giveaways very soon, and you don't want to miss that chance to win. So make sure you come into my free Telegram group as well. The links are all down below. So let's get into how to get into Matic. So the first thing you want to do is set up your MetaMask account. Okay, so everyone is probably on Ethereum. And the first thing you want to do is get Matic. Okay, so there's a number of ways to get Matic. I'm going to show you this through Binance. All right, so here we are in Binance.com. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over to Markets. And then you want to go to Spot Markets. And you can see um, right now I'm on there with BNB, BTC, Alt Market. So I could go to Alt mar Markets or Fiat Markets and see my available options to buy Matic. So as you can see, Matic is trading with USDT on the Fiat Market because Fiat is, means stable coins, USDT, BUSD, or the Euro. Now let's say you had Matic, um, BNB, and you want to be with, buy it with BNB. You just come over here, click on BNB. And then you'd start to trade. So you come over here, click on Matic. So in order to buy Matic, you come over here, you go to the order book and you just place a bid, you know, whatever you think is the appropriate amount. You can say uh, 50 cents, 50, 75 percent to 100 percent of your BNB. But like I mentioned, you're going to need some BNB. So I don't like doing 100 percent. Maybe I'll do 97 percent or 95 because you need fees to move your your funds out, especially you need BNB. So then you click buy. And once Matic is in your wallet, then you can send it over to your account. So let's come over to wallet and let's go to Fiat on Spot Wallet. And here, so you can see I've got some balances here. Now you want to search for that coin. You come over to Matic, Polygon Matic. Now you want to do a withdrawal. So now you can see that Matic is here on Etherscan. So I went to Etherscan.io and I typed in Matic because I want to add that custom um, contract in my MetaMask account so I could make sure that I'm actually sending it to the proper contract address. So go to Etherscan.io, come over here, type in Matic, M-A-T-I-C. And there you go. So Matic pops up and it shows the transfers, the holders, the contract. So we're going to copy this. We're going to come over to my MetaMask. Let's just, right now I'm on the Matic network. So I'm just going to change this. I'm going to go back to Ethereum mainnet. All right, I call this account called Panther. So uh, now what we want to do is we want to add a custom token. Custom token. Well, we could search for one, right? And we could go to Matic. And you can see it's right here. Okay, but let's say you didn't have that. You could just come over here and paste that token and you can see that it's being added. So click on next. Uh, let's add token. And there you are. So now you can see, let's go back. And now if you want to receive Matic, you could just come over here. You can come over, uh, copy that, or you can just come over here and just copy that to the clipboard. And you want to do a withdrawal from Binance. So you come over to withdrawal, uh, you want to go to new address, you pop in this address here, and the network, select network withdrawal, okay? So let's just click on here. And you have options here, so you could either send it over to the Binance Smart Chain, so it would be pegged, or you could bring it over to right here, the Ethereum network. So we're going to bring it over to Ethereum network. 
the max amount. So I've got 40. Uh, the max amount that you can send minimum is 46. So after you, you've done that, you're going to send it. Okay. Uh, you're going to confirm everything. Then you're going to have Matic in your account here. All right. So it's going to be on the Ethereum side. All right. You still need to set up in the later part of this video in a couple of seconds. I'm going to show you how to set up the, the Matic settings. Okay. So once you sent over your Matic, it's going to be in your wallet, right? You're on the Ethereum mainnet and it's going to show here. Okay. So you're going to see Matic. You're going to see some funds. Now, before we proceed, we're going to have to set up MetaMask. We're going to have to set up the Matic network settings. So uh, let's come over here. You want to click this little icon on the right and you want to go to settings. All right. So after you go to settings, you come over to networks because we're going to add a custom RPC. So you're going to click on add. As you can see, I've got, you know, Binance Smart Chain. I've got GoChain. I've got Matic. OK, so if you've done this with Binance Smart Chain, you're pretty familiar on how to do it. It's very easy. So you click on add network and you'll come up with all of this. You'll see network name, new RPC URL, chain ID, currency, the block explorer. I'm going to go back because I already have this set up, but you could copy my settings. Pause the video. So watch. I've got Matic network. HTTPS, RPC, dash mainnet, dot matic, dot network. The chain ID is 137. Matic and explorer.matic.com. Okay. So now that you have this set up and now that you've got Matic in your wallet, the next thing you want to do is when you want to start yield farming, let's say you want to borrow and lend and use Aave. Aave is an awesome um, dApp that you want to get into because with Aave, like I said, you can borrow and lend at the same time. So basically, when you look at these, uh, you could borrow against your own asset, like six six percent, um, you know, three point nine. If you look at the the networks that what they could offer you, it's amazing that you can make money in different ways, not just yield farming, like yield farming just to get into a liquidity pool, but to also to borrow from your own asset that you have let's come over here right now we're still so chosen it's not connected it's gonna give me these errors all right so once you have matic set up now you're probably asking okay well i'm on the ethereum chain i've got my matic in my wallet now what's the next step so basically you want to move the matic that's in your ethereum wallet you want to move it over to this to the matic wallet so if i come over to this top here i can go to ethereum mainnet um, because when you go to sites like Aave, it's going to ask you to connect if you go on to the Matic network. Um, you know, if you ever go, if you go to DAP Radar and you want to connect using the Matic network, you'll see that you have to come over here, click Ethereum network, and then you just want to go to Matic network. Okay, so now we're connecting on the Matic network. And perfect. So now we're connected to the Matic network, right? So now you can see that I've got no Matic. So if I wanted to receive Matic, um, I'm going to show you this right now. So you want to go to Matic web wallet. So wallet.matic.network. All of the links are going to be down below. So now if you see this, look, you might have some balance in your Ethereum account. So move funds to Matic network. So the first thing you want to do, let's just make sure that we're not on the Matic network. We want to make sure that we're on the Ethereum network. So we come back over here, we go to Ethereum mainnet, we want to make sure that this is the wallet that you're selecting because I've got like multiple wallets. So you just want to make sure that you're underneath the right account. So you can come over here. You can see I got account one. I got one with ledger, etc. So I'm using the proper one now that we're connected to the Ethereum mainnet. Um, look, you can see. Let's actually just switch. Let's log out. Yes, log out. Now let's connect and make sure we are on the Ethereum network. We are on Ethereum. Let's pretend we've got Matic in here. So we're just going to connect. We're going to look at that. We're going to sign. Now it's going to wait for the confirmation. All right. So now that let's say we've got the Matic in here. Now what we can select is move funds to Matic network. So we're going to come over here. We're going to see if we got here. Let's come over to Matic over here. And we're going to say the max or whatever you think. So from Matic that is in the Ethereum network, we're going to move it, switch it over to the Matic. And then we're going to click on transfer. 
So then after that, it's going to pop up with a bunch of messages in there. And then after you just want to make sure that your tokens are in there and then it successfully gets in there. So if you're not familiar with quick swap, this is like Uniswap. So basically you want to, uh, you're on the Matic network and then you want to get a bunch of these tokens and it's no different from Uniswap. So this is all on the Matic network. And that's why you've seen Matic network go from, uh, you know, from the, the cents to, you know, all time highs that we just reached. But like I said, my preferred method with yield farming is Binance Smart Chain because you'll notice as you yield farm, um, you want to get in and you want to get out. You know, if if you think BNB is going to dip because with Elon's tweets and everything that happened, right, Elon tanked the, the market, right? So BTC is dipping. Obviously, we're going to see BNB dip and BNB dip. We went from like 600 almost $700 down to, you know, 500 and something for BNB. So if you saw that tweet coming, you could just move all of your assets to stablecoin. It's not financial advice. Do your own research, but you can move it off. And then, you know, you got stablecoin and you're only doing it for cents. But, you know, when you're using like Matic is great because the fees aren't as expensive as Ethereum. They're a lot less, but still nothing beats BNB. And that's why I continue to farm on BNB. On Binance Smart Chain, I continue to look for projects, continue to even buy my Polkadot on Binance Smart Chain, like the pegged version of Polkadot, the pegged version of Bitcoin, BTCB, right? Uh, the pegged version of Reef, the pegged version of Cardano. I continue to do that on Binance Smart Chain, and then I could just easily move it if I want native BNB or native Cardano or native Reef or native DOT. All I have to do is, you know, transfer Binance Smart Chain pegged version of ADA to Binance.com sell it back to native and then just move it off chain right so it's pretty easy uh if you want me to make any videos if you want me to clarify let me know anyways that's it for the video wants to make it quick so that's how you set up matic that's how you move your funds over from ethereum network to matic network and that's it and that's how you start to yield farm so you can yield farm right now my my favorite yield farming platform is ave because ave you could do the lending and the borrowing keep collecting matic uh, for passive income and that's it so anyways again please subscribe comment like and i'll see you in the next one